it's Pelleo today and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this cool looking Y2K, I don't know what to name it to be honest for the moment, but uh, I thought it was a incredible effect and uh, I wanted to share it with you guys. Yeah, the goal for the moment is basically to make as unique tutorials but also as good looking as possible. I basically want you guys to learn something really good and new every single video and if you guys don't know i run the editing visuals website where i have a lot of editing packs that's going to help you out with your editing so if you guys are interested in that be sure to check out the website now uh, let's start making this effect so here we're in after effects i have added the footage i'm going to be showcasing this effect on so what you're going to be doing is basically roto brush out your artist and if you guys don't know how to roto brush i made a tutorial on it which will be linked in the description down below but yeah after you have roto brushed it should look something like this here roto brush that's okay done uh, at least yeah here i'm going to start off by adding half tone to this roto brush layer here and I'm going to increase the dot frequency to 300 and we already get this look here pretty pretty good in my opinion and in the background I want to have this scope basically and I don't know what it is but this scope it makes it very like Y2K I get like a Y2K feeling from using this scope there there's a lot of people using it in the various yeah Y2K looking designs so uh, I thought it was a very cool thing to just add it into this effect here so this is how my scope looks I basically just found it on uh, Pinterest, just to search up like scope uh, Y2K or something like that. This came up uh, for was cool. First I'm going to increase the scale here a ton, something like this. 400, very big in the beginning. I'm gonna keyframe the scale there, then go to the end here. Then I'm gonna drag down the scope like that. And I'm also going to be opening up the layer. I can rename the layer to scope. So we know what it is you can also start off by keyframe the rotation here i'm gonna start at like 115 go to the ending set it back to zero so now we have this kind of look here looks very good right no it doesn't so uh what we're going to do is basically mark the keyframes here press f9 we're going to be selecting the scale keyframe here go to graph and then I'm going to drag this one down like this. So it's going to be zooming out pretty fast in the beginning. Then you can quit that graph, go to rotation, open up graph, do the same here. So we get this kind of animation here, it looks pretty clean. Now you guys can obviously see we have these kind of black bars in the background here. So to get rid of that, we're going to be adding an effect called motion tile to this scope here and we're going to check mirror edges and then we're going to be increasing output height and output width so when you increase those it's going to be filled with uh yeah white in this case so i'm going to be uh, adding vignette just a tiny touch there now we can drag the rotor brush layer above the scope here after that we're going to be adding a adjustment layer so we're going to press ctrl alt y I'm going to add this one under the rotor brush layer here and here I'm going to be adding half tone and I'm going to set the dots frequency to 300. After that I'm going to be making another adjustment layer so I'm going to press ctrl alt y. This adjustment layer is going to be above the rotor brush layer here and here I'm going to be adding pixel motion blur and I'm going to set the shutter angle to 500 and then the shutter samples to 20. And uh, yeah, I'm warning you guys now, this is a very heavy effect here, so so if you guys are in a big project, this might not be the best effect to add now, this is uh, a effect you should uh, probably finish with, because this is he heavy as hell. So this is basically going to make the fails here disappear a little bit, which is good. After that, to our main adjustment layer now, we're going to be yeah, making a new adjustment layer, Ctrl Alt Y, and here I'm going to be adding grain, I'm going to set the color amplitude to 0.15. After that, the color frequency to 250, so the grain is going to be a little bit smaller now. After that, I'm going to be adding a quad tone, and I'm going to be changing the color to to a very bright pink kind of color, so something like this here. So this is the look we're going to be having now after adding quad tone. You guys can see the difference here. Before it was a little bit, you know, black and white, boring. Now it has this cool looking, uh, yeah, pink kind of color added to it. 
which is clean. After that, I'm going to be adding glint. I'm going to drag down the brightness to 0 0.175. And after that, I'm going to be increasing the threshold to 0 0.8. After that, I'm going to be adding unsharp mask. Here, I'm going to set the amount to 150 and then radius to 4. After that, to drag down the quality a little bit more, I'm going to be adding JPEG damage. I'm going to set the quality to 0 0.5 and then the rest factor to 2. And if you guys think this is a little bit too bright, you guys can of course go back to a sapphire glint and then drag down the brightness. But yeah, now the effect is done. And I usually preview every effect in the ending of the tutorial. Like, this is how it looks on this clip here. Uh, I'm not going to do that with this effect. My computer is going to, to be honest, almost explode like with, with uh, previewing this. So uh, yeah, to note, it's a insanely heavy effect here. But uh, I think it's easily worth it in the end. The result you're getting is incredible in my opinion, so uh, yeah, I'm uh, really satisfied with this. And uh, if you guys don't know, I actually have a Y2K FX pack, which is very similar to this whole aesthetic basically. And I'm basically going to show you guys some presets from that pack and how it's going to look uh, on uh, this video basically. So I'm going to uh, make the main adjustment layer here and the motion blur invisible, so we just got this. Uh, default kind of look here. Disable the halfton as well, so we get this just this normal look here. So what we're going to be doing is basically make a new adjustment layer, Control Alt Y, animation presets, use presets, Y2K effects, and here we have a bunch of different style. We have Y2K CRT, Y2K Glow, Y2K halfton, Punk, Quality. So here, if I show you guys a Punk effect here, I could add the Purple Punk for example. And this is how the Y2K purple punk sound look. Incredible in my opinion. Uh, I can show you some more effects. So if we go up to a Y2K half tone, we have a bunch here. We could add the Y2K sapphire half tone. And this is how it's going to look here. Very, very clean half tone effect in my opinion. I could also add the Y2K CRT. And this is the look you guys will be getting with the Y2K CRT looks pretty pretty good in my opinion and if you guys are interested in this pack i'm going to be leaving a link down below and you guys could use the discount code pellet to save five dollars on that pack and if you guys like this tutorial with the yeah cool looking y2k effect don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, comment as well comment uh, what tutorials you guys want also what you thought of the tutorial as well also don't forget to check out my website editingvisuals.com Check out my socials, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, and have a nice day.